First question is from Katie Lynn MC. Which supersets are more effective, same muscle group or opposing muscle groups? Yeah, so questions like this are impossible to answer because they both have mm -hmm. their that own value. value. And what do you mean by more effective for, for what? So so I'll I'll kind of explain what this what they both are, right? So same muscle group superset would be and a superset is two exercises back to back. Okay. More than that, and they have def they have different names for it. So superset, two exercises. So an example of that would be for chest, I would go bench press, and then I go to flies or reverse. So I'm doing two exercises for the same muscle. They're different exercises. I do one for eight reps. I do the other one for eight reps. That's a superset. Opposing muscles are literally, if you look at your body, look at a muscle, and then look at a muscle that does the opposite action. So like biceps and triceps would be opposing. Chest and back would be opposing. Quads and hamstrings would be opposing. So that would be a superset. That would be like curls and then press downs, right? Two okay. exercises back. Well, this back. is something that you and I used to go back and forth on all the time. And I think it's just because we have different certifications and, and have read different books. There's There are different names. One is a superset, one's a compound set. Mm -hmm. A compound I've set. Heard that. I've heard a that. A compound set is opposing muscles. So if you go chest to back, that's a compound set. If you go buys to tries, it's a compound set. Front to back. If you do superset, <laughs> it's two sets back to back of the same muscle group, and they both have their value. Mm -hmm. They and they, I think they're both incredible tools. Uh, to train with. Uh, and the one that's probably best for you is the one that you don't do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what I like about same muscle supersets is the the, the pump. pump. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really, it's re if you're looking for the pump, if you're in a phase of your training where you're, you're focusing on that, you're, you know, what, what do they call it? Sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. Oh. Um, then, it feels like your muscles are going to explode yeah, out of your but arms. The, the pump in a compound set's insane too. Chest to back, well, oh my God, one of my favorite things to do, or buys the tries. That's, I do that every time I work Yeah, off, I yeah. mean, that's... Uh, so and that's more of a, like a full body feeling. Kind yeah. Of I mean, and also it does this. Remember, okay, chest to back. Let's think about that for a second is do I need to have my back be stable when I'm doing like a bench press? Right. Should my chest uh, allow me to do a good retraction when I'm doing a back exercise? Supersetting the two of those is, in my opinion, a great way to kind of balance things out. Mm. Now, that's just my own personal opinion. Um, but what Adam said, I think, has the most value. You know, it does how your workout feel. Is there value to how it feels? I think so. Even if I don't get a lot of physical benefits from it, just feeling my biceps and triceps get a pump at the same time, that's great. Well, I love to do, you, you just alluded to it, I love to do compound sets with somebody who I'm trying to to, to work on something mechanically too, right? So let's say uh, you have the option to do a superset for your chest, meaning I'm going to do, like you said, a bench press and a chest fly. But imagine that 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 client I know already struggles with kind of rounded shoulders, and when they do any chest exercise, they tend to roll forward, and a lot of the shoulders and the triceps yeah. actually work together. So me going a, a, a you know one chest exercise to another chest exercise just fatigues that, and sometimes can make that situation even worse. Me taking them over to a back exercise first and doing like a seated row, and then going over to a mm -hmm. bench press, love to do that because then I prime. Basically, what I'm doing is kind of priming their back, right, to be able to hold themselves in the retracted position, so that when I go over to do a bench press, they can really engage the chest better. So mm -hmm. th there is some there is some extra benefits and some pros and cons to each of them. Mm -hmm. uh, when we're talking about building muscle and just building muscle, uh, from that standpoint, uh, the the value is in whichever one you don't do do the other one but there there as a trainer there are ways that uh i use one more than the other for certain situations like that like i'm trying to get somebody and i might even do a a back to a a tricep exercise like sometimes when i'm like doing like a, a cable push down people tend to you know roll the body forward and mm -hmm. they push down with their shoulders and I, if i get the back pumped i can get them to understand to hold the back in that that pump type position while they also do a push down so there's there's ways for me to to pair exercises to also gain benefit of of improving the client's mechanics because i've got a, yeah. a an antagonist muscle to wake up mm -hmm. and and get them to yeah. to be able to hold it in that good position so there are some benefits to that but when it comes to programming it for benefits of building muscle or burning body fat, the most value is going to be found in if you've done one and you haven't done the other, do the other one. You yeah. Know? Now, here's one of my, some of my favorites. Dips to pull-ups. Love that that super compound superset. Here's another one. Bench press to barbell rows. That's another phenomenal. I like to match them 
with what looks to be like an opposite exercise. Not just different opposite muscles, but opposite movement, right? Dips and pull-ups look very opposite. Try it out. The the pump you get is incredible. Push-ups, excuse me, bench press to rows. Uh, and then, of course, cu- you know, curls to press downs or a, like a skull crusher for the arms. That's a good one. Now, when I do same muscle group uh, supersets, I always, for me personally, I always combine an isolation movement with a compound movement. That's the way I love to do it. So mm. if I do... You know, pull-ups, it'll be pull-ups to a dumbbell pull-over or a straight-arm pull-down. If I'm doing like a bench press, bench press to flies. Yeah. That combination, the pump you get is just insane. 